Hello guys, welcome to Monitoring and Evaluation Made Simple. I'm your host, Coach Alexander. If you're here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. As you are all aware, you might have seen that in my previous video, I talked about monitoring and evaluation software. Now, I want to discuss why we need this software, okay? But if you're here for the very first time, I've been doing this for 10 years now. I'm so glad to be doing this. I'm so happy to be doing this. I love what I do. So I have no problems with implementing m and And if you want to get to know me better, watch some of my previous videos or even write to me, I'll be happy to build some friendship with you. So as m and Made Simple, we've been promoting our new brand of t-shirts and our new brand of face masks. If you are interested, please grab your, yourself these uh, items so that you support this channel, so that it continues to give you great content and so that it can grow. And of course, there are these free ebooks which you can download. They are totally free. Then there's the how to set up a monitoring and evaluation system step-by-step -step course. I want you to access this course so that you can get the full benefit from using uh, some of the skills that I'm teaching on Udemy. So as usual, this video is long, but sometimes it's not even that long, except that you may not want to watch all of it. So just use the timestamp so that you can skip certain parts of this video at your own time okay so let's get started to it, with it so what is a monitoring and evaluation software um okay so now guys uh, the m and software is composed of these two keywords okay uh, you've got monitoring and evaluation then you've got the software component so now the issue is that we want to understand what this software is, what it means to us, what it can do for us. We oftentimes hear about the many developments that are happening around the world, especially in the computer space, the technology space. Most of these things is because of well-defined, well-developed softwares. And softwares have been around for a very long time. And we, we can see what it has done to us. It has made life so much easier. Right now, you can even download softwares for free on the internet. So it's quite interesting where we are heading. Things will be freely accessible in the years to come. So a software really is a program, okay? And I got this definition on the internet. I think I must have used Wikipedia or um, because when you just type software, it's many definitions come, okay? So I, I, it's just that I didn't source it, but the software basically is a computer program. So now this computer program is is very useful right now because it, it actually helps us use the hardware properly. Okay, so right now I'm on this laptop and the reason I'm able to record this video is because of a software that I'm using. So you, you, I'm sure now you get the point. And I know you knew these things. It's just that we, we need to go through them, set the foundation before we actually go to the discussion of why we are here. So the importance of softwares, um, I, I think I talked about this, but now I've given a source. This, the link is there in the description. One of the things I like about this um, uh, what has been written here is that the, the software is really, uh, you know, when when you when you improve on your hardware, okay. Let me. I always like using the example of uh, vehicles. The the BMWs or the Mercedes Benz, that those cars, the way they were years ago, are not the way they are now. They are totally different. They are way more advanced and. The reason they're able to operate with such efficiency okay, is because of softwares that have uh, computer programs that are governing the way they operate these days. okay. And it's not just those BMWs. We've also got um, our laptops, you know, for them to be, you know, for them to operate the way they are in a fast, efficient manner. It's because of these softwares. Okay, so... Why is software important in M&E? 
this is what we need to discuss. And for those of you who watched my previous video, I talked about some of these things, but we're going to talk about this further because it's very important we do. One of the info important aspects is the data quality. And this cannot be overly emphasized because data quality, guys, is so important. It is one of the things you cannot ignore for any organization that is operating, doing their operations, implementing projects. It's something they really need to pay attention to. Because if you get misleading information, chances are that you make poor decisions, which can negatively impact on the project. So this m and softwares are supposed to improve on the data quality. So what do we mean when we say data quality? We're talking about efficiency. We're talking, I mean, sorry, we're talking about the, the completeness of the data. Uh, we're talking about the timeliness of the, the data. We're also talking, talking about accuracy. So those are some of the things we talk about when we speak about data quality. And the interesting part about these software is that they help reduce errors, okay? And they help do this by spotting where things may be inconsistent, things may be not easy to interpret, you know? That's what these softwares actually do. So it's really about the data quality. That's one of the reasons. The second reason is the efficiency. You know, I'll give you an example. When you do data collection, the first step is that you need to actually go and do the interviews. So after doing the interviews, you, you have to clean the data. Then after cleaning it up, making sure that it's complete and it's free from errors, you enter that data into into a computer program which is which could be excel because i've been using excel it could be spss okay so now that method it goes through different stages it goes through different steps and let's say all, doing all of that data collection entry analysis report writing and decision making all that takes time but when you use a computer software one of those stages will be shortened, or even two of those stages will be shortened when you use a computer software. So the end result is that you take less time to do the work, and then you get better quality decision making, better quality report writing, analysis, and so on and so forth. So that is what we mean when we say efficiency you take less time and at the same the same time okay at the same time it is even less costly because when you have fewer errors there is the cost reduces okay the cost of correcting those errors reduces and another thing i like about these m and d softwares is that there's definitely going to be real time monitoring and quick decision making so the real-time monitoring really comes in when you are using these softwares, especially for surveillance. I've seen quite a number of these softwares in the past. You can actually be able to, to monitor activities in the real time. So now the good thing about doing this monitoring in the real time is that you won't wait for a report. You won't wait days and days for a report to come in. But because of the real-time monitoring, you will actually be able to see things as they happen and management can make decisions there and then. Okay, so April is coming, guys. So in April, I'm going to be sharing with you a very interesting monitoring and evaluation software, which is going to be launched. And I'm so excited because I think this is going to be my favorite part of the year this is going to be a very wonderful year guys so i really want you guys to keep stick around because in april something's big is going to happen you can write to me 
so that I keep you in the mailing list. I let you know when I post the video in relation to the monitoring and evaluation software. So thank you very much. I've been your host, Coach Alexander. Until we meet again, see you on the other side. Bye.